this is Steve Robbins. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Work Less and Do More. They say you teach what you most need to learn. Well, today I'm here to teach about overcoming perfectionism. Sometimes extreme attention to perfecting every single detail simply gets in the way. And by golly, I'll show you how to overcome it if I have to dot every I and cross every T myself with a 0.4mm turquoise point GTEC C pen. Perfection is caused by immortality. If you're a perfectionist, it's only because some part of your brain believes that you'll live forever. After spending 17 hours painstakingly adjusting the spacing between the fonts on our business card, some part of my brain thought, oh, wow, this perfectionism stuff really takes time. Fortunately, I'll live forever. Whoa, wait, what? Back up there. What's this thing about living forever? My brain was confused, and yours might be too. I created a program called Get It Done Groups, which is an accountability program to help self-employed people build new habits and finish projects that they've been working on forever, stuff like that. And originally, it was going to take months to get this thing started. I mean, I was going to make videos and have handouts and all that stuff was going to be ready for the program's rollout. I was eagerly telling my friend David about it when he looked at me sternly in the eye and said, Get it done. Now. Then, David did what I had never done myself. He gave me a hard, fast time limit. You have three hours. You can use it all at once or a little at a time, but you must launch as soon as you've done three hours of total work on the program. Give this a shot. Choose an area where you've been taking forever because you've been a perfectionist. Maybe you're writing a novel that you've been dreaming of your whole life, or you're working on your first YouTube video, or you're knitting exciting underwear for your schmoopies. Whichever it is, give yourself a time limit and make it small, under eight hours. That means you have at most one day to get it done. Now, get yourself a timer app that you can pause and resume. After trying 139,000 timer apps, my favorite is called Multi-Timer for the iPhone. I created a three-hour timer that could be started and stopped whenever I worked on the Get It Done Groups project. Now, that timer watched me. It watched me closely every minute of work on the pilot program, counting down from three hours. The countdown really heightens the awareness of how long things take, putting together a shopping cart, writing a web page, designing the actual course. With two hours and five minutes left, about three quarters of the work was still left to be done. Something had to change. What had to change was the perfectionism. That immortal part of the brain, it suddenly realized that there were only 125 minutes left to get everything done. That changed the driving question from what needs to get done into how is it possible to get everything good enough in two hours and five minutes. When you ask that question, you have to change your whole approach. Instead of getting every little thing perfect, you need to step back to your big picture project plan and review the major tasks, and really, you have to completely reevaluate how you do them. Put up a gorgeous, beautiful website with professionally written copy and a gorgeous design. That becomes, add a page to my existing website with a five-minute smartphone video recorded in my water-damaged basement in one take. Write the page the way I would describe the program to a friend in one pass. And total time to the website, 25 minutes. Create a shopping cart linked to my credit card processor merchant account, able to accept payment of all sorts, integrated with a back-end automatic membership site, becomes... Put a one-click Pay with PayPal button on the web page, gather the names from the receipts as they come in, and add them by hand to a spreadsheet to track membership. Find world-class collaboration platforms that can handle every possible collaboration need in existence. Becomes, hey, I use Discord to chat with friends who are playing World of Warcraft. Well, getting things done is just like World of Warcraft, right? People will love the cute little Space Invaders icons. Discord it is. And so on. Every day-long step in building this product had a 10-minute equivalent that was good enough and that could be put into place with almost no effort. Be prepared, however, for failure on the back end. The moment the program started and the first 14 attendees showed up for our kickoff webinar, I still had over an hour left on my timer. I was proud. I'd managed to find quick and dirty ways. See what I did there? Quick and dirty? Ha, yeah. To get everything done. The program started. Everyone dialed into the webinar and... And... Well, and some attendees had never used Google Docs, so sharing files wasn't quite as easy as planned. And then Discord, remember, my collaboration platform? It started showing attendees pictures of sexy mermaids. Now, none of my attendees were really into sexy mermaids, and some actually found them downright unprofessional. Frankly, I had to agree. Padded shoulders, professional. Padded seashells, not so much. When you use the timer method, 
you may end up cutting corners. That's deliberate. Taking an extra five weeks to get the perfect solution is exactly what we were trying to avoid. That means, however, that when you use the three-hour technique, or two hours, or eight hours, or whatever time unit you use, be prepared to scramble on the back end to clean up the details of your non-perfect solution. By the end of the first week, everyone was up and running on Google Drive, even if I had to do individual one-on-one meetings to help people get set up. Discord hadn't exactly been tamed, but we had already found a better tool to use next time, so the mermaids will have to find an audience elsewhere, and I suspect that their regular teenage boy audience will be willing to take on that role. Even though it was a scramble for a few days to deal with the not-quite-perfect solutions, the program was a success. The total work, preparation, launch, and dealing with the issues was far less and happened far, far, far faster than shooting for the perfect would ever have done. So the next time you're getting caught by perfectionism, give yourself a three-hour time limit, start a timer, and go. I'm Steve Robbins. Follow Get It Done Guy on Twitter and Facebook. If you're self-employed or you run a small business and you want to finish certain tasks or projects more quickly, check out Get It Done groups that provide support and accountability for blasting through your blockages. Learn more at getitdonegroups.com or join my personal mailing list by texting get it done to 33444. You'll also get a free copy of my secret book chapter on how to build relationships that help you succeed. Work less, do more, and have a great life. <laughs>